What's up, Nerdyverse? I'm Daddy Louie, and in this video, we're taking a look at a game called Key Toss. So stick around. Before we get started, if you're new to our channel and you want to see more content like this, start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Key Toss is the Finnish word for thank you. And this game is for two to four players, it is for ages 12 and up, and it takes about uh, 15 to 45 minutes to play, totally dependent on which mode and special rules you decide to play in your game. At its core, Key Toss is a word strategy game. It takes a lot of elements from games like um, Scrabble and Boggle and things like that, uh, but it also changes things up enough to keep uh, players interested and uh, engaged with this uh, new uh, kind of word crazy word game if you will um, that uses only cards which is really cool uh, but is the game any good well if you'll join me on the table we will check it out and take a look I'm a sucker for compact games so as you can see here the box is nice and small which I really like and uh, on the back just has some information, barcode and everything all ready to go. Uh, this is an early edition of the game, so I don't know if anything's going to change, so just keep that in mind. Inside the uh, box, we have all of these components. You have your letter cards. Uh, seasoning is some alternate rules that you can throw in uh, if you choose to do so. I'll leave uh, that for you guys to explore on your own. You have your rule cards, uh, which I'll explain in a minute once we get set up. They are double-sided so that you can have some alternate rules as you play as well. Your challenge cards, uh, these are uh, double-sided as well. They say the same thing on both sides. And uh, I'll explain those also. And then you have this little uh, token, uh, which can be used if you choose to do so. Uh, also, I'll explain how all that works in a minute. And then, of course, your rule book. Didn't have to reference this once we understood the rules. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so let me get set up for a game, and I will show you how it plays. Here I have set up for one of the uh, game modes. There's many different ways of playing the game, which is really cool. Uh, this is the basic way. Uh, the standard way is pretty much the same setup. However, after each round... Um, one of the players chooses, or after, I shouldn't say after one round, after a word has been completed, one of the players or the player that completed the word is allowed to flip one of these to a different rule and then basically locks it into place, uh, which means that the next time this can't be changed again, something else has to be changed. And then when that gets changed, that gets locked and then this can be changed again. Uh, that's the quote-unquote standard way of playing the game, but uh, I will just explain to you the basics and uh, then you can go from there. So here we have set up uh, for uh, the basic game. Uh, this basically means that each card in my positive pile, uh, which is successfully completed words, is worth one point each. Um, Regular key toss means I'm adding words at the end or adding letters at the end of the words uh, Super key toss, which is the other rule means you can put them at the beginning as well and then uh, Each word has to have a minimum of four letters uh, the challenge cards are here in the event that uh, Someone calls out a word or declares a word and someone else in the group feels that it's not an actual word they can challenge that word um, and then your draw deck each player has eight cards and the first player uh, or the player with initiative will uh, say a word has to meet uh, the four letter minimum and they will play the first letter of that word so based on what I have here um, maybe I would go with the word path so I'd play a P and I would call out the word path and then I would pass to the next player now the next player if they have an a for the word path they must play the letter a if they do not have the letter a then they can play an additional letter and change the word 
So uh, I'm drawing for uh, the second player here. Uh, and I do have an A, as you can see. So I would play the pay A and say path because the word has not changed. And now when it got back to player one, the player with initiative, he would need to play AT. But see, he does not have AT. So he has to either change the word or take these cards as negative against him. So uh, I'm gonna go with the word page because I do have a G. So I would play the G and say page. And then again, go back to the next player and he needs to play an E to complete the word. But he does not have the word. Uh, he does not have an E. So um, if he can think of another word to play, um, off of PAG, then he can do that. But in this case, let's say he can't think of another word, he would take these cards as a negative. So he collects these cards, he places them face down in a negative pile, and then when counting points, these would count as one point each against his total score. Now let's say for example, he did have an E, and he could complete the word page. Let me just uh, look in here. I don't have an E in that deck. Let's find an E just to, here's an E. So let's say he has this letter E in his hand. So if he does have the letter E, he would have to play it, declare page. And since the word has been completed, meets the four letter minimum, the person who declared the word, which is me or player one, uh, he collects these as a positive against him, P-A-G-E, and keeps the pile face up. So each player will have a face up pile and a face down pile. Face up pile is your positive, face down pile is your negative. And at the end of the game, uh, you would count up your positives, subtract your negatives, and that is your total score. You could play in rounds, play up to 50, however you want to play. Um, and that's the mechanics of the game honestly uh like i said there are different uh things here like with the challenge uh if i came up with a word that my opponent doesn't think is an actual word he could challenge me uh and if he was correct then this would go in my negative pile and i'd have another minus one in my negative um once a word has been collected whether it be positive or negative each player draws back up to their starting hand of eight cards and when you can no longer draw enough cards uh, from the deck so that everybody's hand is full, the round is over and you immediately count, um, count score. So that's just the basic way of playing the game. Uh, you do that to learn how to play. The standard way, like I said, it includes this uh, little wooden chip here. And after each word is collected, the player that collected the word could then turn around and change one of the rules. Uh, so I could change this positive one to positive two. Um, the this counting of the score only goes off of this at the end of the round. So if this is still at times two at the end of the round, then uh, each positive uh, card is worth two points each. However, um, you know, it can possibly be changed right before that happens. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and this token again locks it so that it stays until someone else changes another rule, in which case the lock then moves. And then this could be changed again. Uh, so the different things here are um, five letters versus four letters. Super key toss lets you add letters to the beginning of the word and at the end of the word. Uh, which changes things up completely. And then the positive pile score, again, changes everything from one point in the positive pile to two points. And then of course, don't forget that there are also the seasoning cards that you can throw in for a little bit of variety. I will save these for you to discover on your own. And that's key toss. The one thing that I uh, forgot to mention is that uh, when a word is completed, the person who is going to be collecting the word says kitos or thank you to the person that completed the word before collecting their cards. Uh, so what do I think of this game? I think it's great. Uh, it's great family fun. 
Uh, it's good for anyone that enjoys uh, word style games. Like I said, Scrabble, Boggle, things like that. I think that this changes those mechanics enough to make it fun and exciting for uh, both experienced and new gamers. And um, the age group that it targets is just perfect for me and my family because um, that is right around the age of my children. So we enjoyed this and I think that you'll enjoy it as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And make sure that you share it with your family, friends, and your nerdy communities. If you have uh, any suggestions of anything you would like to see here on our YouTube channel, please leave that in the comment section down below. We love reading your comments and interacting with you. If you have anything that you would like featured on our page, you can hit us up on our social media. We have Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Circle of Nerds. Also, don't forget that we have a weekly podcast that comes out every Tuesday called The Cosmic Disaster Show. You can find that right here on YouTube or anywhere that you enjoy listening to podcasts. And for an extra bit of love and affection to the Circle of Nerds, please consider checking us out over on Patreon at patreon.com slash circle of nerds. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I will see you in the next video. Bye.